I am a proponent of the revocable living trust for reasons to avoid probate and for asset management in the event of incapacity. It's a flexible document. It's strong and robust. Basically what you're doing is you're creating a financial entity and your assets can go into the trust and irrespective of the name, living trust, uh, loving trust, eh, apple or a rose by any other name, it doesn't matter. The reason that they're very uh, useful is, uh, well, it's dependent on what you do with it. Are you going to take your assets and place them into the trust? And if so, do you have a well-written trust uh, to give steps and uh, rules and regulations as to what to do if there is an incapacity? 